Ladies and gentlemen, the manager of the recruit training unit, Inspector Darren Carnes, will now take command of the parade. The parade will now receive the host for this ceremony, Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, Executive Manager, Education and Training. She'll be met by the Commander, Recruit and Policing Skills Group, Superintendent Annie Morrow. The arrival now of the Commissioner of Police, Mr Ian Stewart. He'll be greeted by the host, escorted to the dais and received by the parade with a general salute. The parade will now receive our principal official guest, the Honourable Jack Dempsey MP, Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services. He'll be welcomed by the Commissioner, escorted to the dais and accorded a general salute. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the Australian National Anthem. Police officers and other uniformed personnel are requested to salute. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. And ladies and gentlemen, the perpetual awards acknowledging the worthy award recipients will now be presented by the representatives from various corporations companies and government organisations that support Recruit Training Unit. It is through their generosity that we are able to acknowledge the recipients for their achievements gained during the Recruit Training.
Mr Craig Hanlon, representative of the Chairman and Board of Members of the Queensland Police Citizens Youth Club, will now present the Community Service Award on behalf of the members of the Board of Directors. The recipient for this award is recruit Wendy Nash. The award is presented to an individual who demonstrates an outstanding commitment through involvement in youth activities, enhancing public safety and exemplary service to the community. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit Nash. The Physical Skills Award, sponsored by the Queensland Police Women's Network, is presented in memory of the, of the late Constable Sondra Lena, the first policewoman to lose her life on the line of duty in Queensland. Mr Graham and Mrs Sandra Lena will present the award this morning in memory of their daughter. The recipient for this memorial award is recruit Cynthia Heinemann. This memorial award is presented to an individual who achieves excellence in physical skills education. We thank Mr and Mrs Lena for presenting this award today. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit Heinemann. The Traffic Award, sponsored by the Royal Automobile Club of Queensland, is presented in memory of the late Sergeant Dan Stiller, who sadly lost his life in a traffic incident in 2010. Superintendent Andy Morrow, representative of the community and education manager, RACQ, will now present this memorial award. The recipient for the Traffic Award is recruit Ben Wood. This memorial award recognises an individual who has achieved highest competency in traffic related studies and driver training. We thank the RACQ for their sponsorship and Superintendent Morrow for making the presentation today. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit Wood. The Operational Skills Award, sponsored by Education and Training, is presented on behalf of the Academy by our parade host, Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts. The recipient today for this award is recruit Nigel Peacock. The Operational Skills Award recognises an individual who has achieved the highest competency in the application of physical skills, firearms training and officer safety. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit Peacock. The Achievement Award recognises academic advancement and tenacity of purpose. Ms Gillian Steinkamp, Chairperson of the Queensland Police Credit Union Limited, will now present the Achievement Award. The recipient for this award today is recruit Mary Ann Hogan.
This award is presented to the individual who has shown determination and a dedication to reach their goals. Our appreciation is extended to the credit union for their continued support of the recruit program and to Ms Steinkamp for making this presentation today. Ladies and gentlemen, Recruit Hogan. The Leadership Award is presented to an individual who displays high level leadership qualities throughout the Recruit program. Acting Assistant Commissioner Brian Wilkins, President of the Queensland Police Commission Officers Union, will now present the award for leadership. The Leadership Award recipient is Recruit Blair Steele. In making a selection for this award, the qualities of trustworthiness, honesty, integrity, acceptance to responsibility, confidence, dedication and peer respect are considered by the facilitators and the intake coordinator. We thank the Commission Officers Union for their support and for this prominent award and to Mr Wilkins for making the presentation today. Ladies and gentlemen, Recruit Steele. The Ducks Award is presented to the individual who has achieved excellence in academic studies across the whole of the intake. Mr Ian Levers, General President, Queensland Police Union of Employees, will present the Ducks Award on behalf of the union. The recipient for the Ducks Award is recruit Nathaniel Carlton. We would like to acknowledge the the police union, which also presents a medallion of St Michael the Archangel to each graduating constable. St Michael is the patron saint for police officers around the world. We thank the union for their many years of support to police training and in particular today to Mr Levis for making this presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, recruit Carlton. The Commissioner's Executive Award is presented to the individual who has achieved excellence, competency and professionalism in the Recruit Training Program. Commissioner Stewart will now make this presentation. The recipient for this prestigious award is Recruit Nathan McIntosh. This award specifically focuses on individual conduct, leadership qualities, skills performance, academic results, and a commitment to the ideal principles of service to the community. Nathan is also being presented with a certificate denoting his achievements in the recruit training program. Ladies and gentlemen, Recruit McIntosh. Undoubtedly, the highlight of our program today is the imminent induction into the Queensland Police Service of the recruits on parade. I know that many of you have travelled long distances to be here for this very reason. Before a recruit begins to perform their duties as a constable of police, there is a formal process to be applied in accordance with the Police Service Administration regulation. This practice requires the individual recruit to pledge their loyalty to our sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. The member then subscribes to the oath or affirmation of office in the presence of a commissioned police officer. This segment, referred to as an induction, is the transition from the learning environment to being a sworn officer in the Queensland Police Service. As part of the process, each member is presented with a wallet containing their identity card and official police badge. Table officers, please fall in.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the formal undertaking of the oath and affirmation of office by the graduating recruits. The administration of the oath and affirmation is delivered by the Commissioner of Police in accordance with the prescribed regulation. I invite my colleagues to reaffirm their allegiance to our sovereign by reciting the oath or affirmation of office in unison with the recruits on parade today. Preface by the word I, state your given names and surname in full. You are to repeat your oath or affirmation of office after me. Swear by Almighty God that I will well and truly serve my Sovereign Queen Elizabeth II her heirs and successors, according to law in the office of constable, or in such capacity as I may be appointed, promoted or reduced, without favour, affection, malice or ill will, from this date until I am discharged. That I will cause Her Majesty's peace to be kept and preserved. That I will prevent to the best of my power all offences against the same. And that, and that while I am a member of the Queensland Police Service, I, Service, I will to the best of my skill and knowledge Discharge all duties legally imposed upon me, faithfully and according to law. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Table officers, please be seated. Today we are inducting 45 recruits into the service. Their training included instruction in the areas of legislation, driver training, physical skills education, computer training and firearms and officer safety. The facilitators involved in the training of the graduating groups are comprised of sworn officers with years of operational experience and staff members who come from an academic and instructional background. All facilitators possess the skills required to teach in accordance with the high education requirements for this training establishment. The intake coordinator is Acting Senior Sergeant Trevor Went. Acting Senior Sergeant Went is an experienced police officer with over 37 years of experience. He is a policing skills instructor and is currently seconded to the recruit training unit as intake coordinator. As part of the 150th anniversary celebrations, specially designed tables have been made for the ceremonial aspect for the recruits to subscribe to their oath of service. These tables have been made from Queensland blackbuck timber. The signature metal police badges 
featured on the front complement the handcrafted creations. Additionally, a symbolic part of the design and manufacture process was to infuse each table with a small powdered portion from each tree in the Avenue of Remembrance as a way to honour and remember the service of all the officers who have died in the line of duty serving the state of Queensland. The banner paraded today is a symbol given to the police service by the people of Queensland in recognition of 150 years of exemplary loyal and dedicated law enforcement. This significant icon honours the service given by the men and women who have contributed to helping make Queensland a safe and secure place to live, visit and to do business. It is carried in all ceremonial parades as a sign of respect given to the citizens of our state. Today's banner party is composed of facilitators from the Recruit Training Unit. The privilege of carrying the banner today is given to Acting Sergeant Colin Flaherty. The escorts for the banner are Sergeant Verity Partridge and Sergeant Kath Brady. On the 1st of January this year, all serving police officers were presented with a Queensland Police Service 150 year citation by the Commissioner of Police. Today, the graduating constables are also being presented with this citation. The citation has an internal blue and white checkered ribbon surrounded by an antique silver metallic frame. The blue is the same colour used in all Queensland Police Service insignia and is given in recognition of ethical and diligent service. The chequered design is traditional and is used to represent police around the world. Etched into the metallic frame are the words Queensland Police printed above the colour and the numerals 1864 to 2014 are written below. To commemorate the sesquicentennial anniversary of our organisation, a book has been produced by our museum curator, Ms Lisa Jones and her staff. The book is titled Policing Queensland 1864 
to 2014, 150 years. This manuscript captures a pictorial history of operational policing and other related events as the organisation evolved throughout this period. The book, available in both hard and soft cover, will make a great gift, especially for the graduating constables who are commencing their new careers today. It is available for sale today in the Academy Canteen and the Commissioner will be available to sign your copy if you wish to purchase this record of our history. Thank you, table officers. Please fall out. The Queensland Police Service Statement of Ethics underpins our vision, mission, role and the values of the service, namely courage, fairness and pride. It is a commitment that every member undertakes in accordance with the standards of practice, the code of conduct and the functions of the organisation under the Police Service Administration Act. The Statement of Ethics is a standard expected by the Commissioner of Police, his colleagues and the greater community. It is an acceptance by the individual officer to practice high standards of conduct and behaviour as a police officer both on and off duty. I now invite Constable McIntosh to adopt the Statement of Ethics on behalf of the Constables on Parade. On behalf of the new constables, I am pleased to adopt this statement of ethics. As a member of the Queensland Police Service, I have a duty to protect life and property, preserve the peace, prevent offences, detect and apprehend offenders and help those in need of assistance. At all times, I will carry out my duties without fear or favour, malice or ill will. I will act honestly and with the utmost integrity. I will make every effort to respect and uphold the rights of all people, regardless of race, social status or religion. I will strive for excellence and endeavour to improve my knowledge and professionalism. I will keep confidential all matters which I may learn in the course of my official capacity except as necessary. I will practice self-discipline in word and deed both on and off duty. I will resist the temptation to participate in any activity which is improper or which can be construed as being improper. 
I will not misuse my office for personal gain. I will accept responsibility for my own actions and for acts which I may order. I accept the desirability of these ethics as an integral part of my personal and professional life. Thank you, Constable McIntosh. Police Chaplain, Reverend Andrew Robertson will now offer the blessing. Let us pray. Lord God, we know that it is through establishing process for justice, peace and good order that a caring community works to keep safe those who are vulnerable and innocent. For this reason, we ask your blessing upon these newly graduated constables as they become sworn members of the Queensland Police Service. We thank you for their willingness to serve the community in this way, and we are thankful for the hard work and personal application they have given whilst preparing themselves for the duties of being a police officer. We pray that they may always exercise the powers of their office with responsibility and that they may be aware of the influence they are entrusted with as police officers. Lord, empower these new officers with courage when they are confronted by danger. Give them integrity when confronted with ethical choices. Endow them with compassion when assisting those suffering and victimised. Grant them impartiality when enforcing the law and bless them with a willing graciousness to accept assistance when needed. Be present with these officers in the challenges of their new profession so that at the end of every shift they may, with confidence and pride, know that they have served with honour. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Robertson. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Stewart will now address the parade. Could I acknowledge our very, very special guest, the Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, the Honourable Jack Dempsey, MP, Minister, uh, in your busy, busy schedule, uh, can I personally thank you for taking the time to come to what is one of the most important ceremonies uh, in the life of the Queensland Police Service. To Chief Executive Officer, Public Safety Business Agency, Mr. Kelvin Anderson. Kelvin uh, is our partner in producing and enabling the services that we provide to the community of Queensland, and I thank you for being here. To my deputies, Deputy Commissioner Ross Barnett, Specialist Operations, Deputy Commissioner Steve Golcheski from Strategy, Policy and Performance, Acting Deputy Commissioner, Mr. Peter Barron from Regional Ops, to our host today, the Executive Manager, Education and Training, uh, Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts. To Brian Wilkins, the President of the Commissioned Officers Union, and Ian Levers, the President of the Police Union of Employees. To all of the Commissioned Officers who are here today and other colleagues of mine in the Queensland Police Service, to all of the distinguished guests who were acknowledged earlier, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but most importantly, our 45 newest constables before you on the parade ground. I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the place on which we meet today and I pay my respects to the distinguished elders past and present. Today, uh, I'm going to break with my normal uh, presentation that I do at these parades uh, because I want to talk to four different groups of people who are here in our presence today. The first is to you, the family, the friends, the loved ones, the supporters of our 45 newest constables. You have just become, along with these fine people, the newest members of our organisation. Uh, you are very much going to be part of their lives into the future. Uh, you will need to support them significantly throughout their careers with us because the, the life they've chosen is not an easy one. The path of policing is complex, difficult, and it's sometimes dangerous. So I appeal to each one of you, 
please provide and continue to provide the love and support that you have that have got them to this position today. I hope that you, every one of you, is very proud of our newest constables on parade today. I also, the second group wanna, that I want to address today are my police colleagues. I particularly want to thank all of those people in our organisation and across our portfolio who've been responsible for getting these people to this point in their, uh, in their lives, not their careers, in their lives. Selecting them, training them, uh, presenting them in this way uh, is a real credit to all of those involved. But to all of my colleagues, I'd remind them, uh, this is sworn and unsworn, the whole big team of policing, that we have a long job ahead. And that job is to mentor, to counsel, to guide, and to work with these fine people as part of the Queensland Police team. Something that you learn very early in your life in policing is that you don't get anything done by yourself. And I'm acutely aware of that uh, in the privileged position that, uh, that I hold. It is in fact all of these people in Suits of Blue, it is all of our support staff who actually make Queensland a safer and more secure place. And I thank every one of them every day for doing that. Part of our role though will be to help these people before you, our newest constables, reach their potential in the Queensland Police Service. And who knows, uh, in years to come, there might be a commissioner of police amongst them. Um, I certainly hope so. The fourth group that, uh, sorry, the third group that I want to talk to today are our special guests who are here, including our minister. What they represent uh, is the community. Uh, it's our sponsors who support us. It's the different arms of government that are here. Uh, it is other government agencies. It's our brothers and sisters in other emergency services. And on that note, can I just mention uh, that our hearts are with uh, the Commissioner of the Fire Service today, Lee Johnson, whose wife is very, very ill. And uh, I certainly hope that she recovers uh, fully from her present condition. But these people who are here, our special guests who are here today, are here for a purpose. The purpose is to demonstrate, not just to our newest constables and not just to remind us as your police department, but to demonstrate to all of the loved ones that are here today, the family and loved ones, that the community does really back us, that the community is there to work with us to ensure that peace and safety every day. It's very important to me as the Commissioner that we do have that support and I know that uh, my senior executive joined with me in thanking all of the members of those agencies who are here demonstrating uh, our partnership as a whole of government approach to the work that we need to do in Queensland. And finally the fourth group that I want to talk to are you, our 45 newest constables. As I said, you haven't chosen an easy pass, path. There will be great days uh, and there will be some days that aren't so great. I hope and I know that you have the resilience and the fortitude to get through that. I've asked every one of you to have courage, fairness and pride in the work that you do every day. I hope that if you stick with those tenants, that if you focus on those, that you will reach your potential as, as fully sworn and fully, fully trained and fully equipped autonomous police officers, something which will take, and we know this to be true from experience, it will take you about five years to reach that point. Don't ever for one minute think that you haven't got the ability to do it. In the 150 year history of the Queensland Police Service, not counting the 11,000 odd police officers we have in the organisation today, there have been 30,000 people that have uh, that have been through this exact ceremony, this job before you, and they've done it well. We are very proud of our traditions and our history. I hope you will be, and I hope that you will reach your potential to the point where we are going to be very, very proud of you as members of your organisation. Again, thank you for choosing the Queensland Police Service as your career of choice. I wish every one of you well. 
I wish you safe, safety in your work and I certainly ask that you always focus on doing what's right for the people of Queensland. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. May I now introduce our principal official guest, the Honourable Mr Jack Dempsey. <laughs> Commissioner Ian Stewart, Deputy Commissioners, Assistant Commissioners, Members of the Commissioned Officers, other police officers, representatives from our Defence Services, from, our, from the Commissioned Officers Police Union, from the Police Union, from the Police Credit Union, even from members from the Scouts and other government agencies that we have here today, from the other emergency services that we have here, from the rural fires to the, uh, to the, emer the other emergency services to uh, the CEO, Calvin Anderson of the Public Safety Business Agency, to you, all the members of the community, mums, dads, brothers and sisters, loved ones, friends, partners, to Peter Flexman and the Pipes and Drums, to the members of the traffic branch that came in here so ever skillfully to manoeuvre their bikes on this slippery grass just a little while ago, to the recruits that are yet to go through and are looking on in you, the new constables, with great admiration, to the young children here that are our future. And when we look around this particular parade ground, that holds so much symbols of pride, tradition, and we look at the banner for 150 years of policing and think what other officers and families have gone through to protect the people and the property and the values of this great state of Queensland. I think of three words for these, three, these 45 new recruits. And that is, that everybody here, and we talk about St Michael as the patron saint of policing, and I had 20 years to, to be able to have uh, St Michael at my side in the police service. And in that vein, I'd like to also acknowledge the chaplains that'll be here in your times to be able to assist you with your families in times of need. And young Michael, who comes with his carer here, Michael, he comes to every induction parade Everybody here is here because they are proud of you, they trust you, and they believe in you. Those three attributes of pride, trust, and belief are not attributes that are given, they're attributes that are earned. And everybody here is certainly proud of the time that you have uh, taken over the, the many weeks to finally being sworn in here as constables of the Queensland Police Service. To leave this parade ground with the same authority as the highest ranked commissioner of police, to take the rights and liberties away from a Queenslander, but also to act in part of that oath, to serve without favour, affection, malice or ill will. And these are certainly things, these are a burden on your shoulder, on your shoulders, but it's on the same shoulders of every other officer and all the officers that have come in the past. And I know that the training that you've received through your instructors here and the support of your colleagues in the police service and your family will get you through those hard times. Over the last few days, I've had the privilege to go with Deputy Commissioner Peter Barron to uh, the Gulf and Cape communities from Mornington Island to Arakoon to Dilmagee to Torres Strait and everything in between. And there, I've met some of the most exceptional officers in charge, from senior sergeants to junior constables. And I can tell you that they are doing the people of Queensland, the Queensland Police Service, a great deal of pride and honour in the way that they serve in those communities. But one thing I also want to recognise is the sacrifices that their families give to supporting those officers in those communities. So I say to the families here today, thank you because in tire, tough times, you are gonna be these constables rock of support to help them get through the tough times. 
And in return, I ask all 45 constables here to remember that you're also part I am welcome you to the police family, but please remember, and as part of an experience for myself, never leave home angry. Please take the time to, uh, to, uh, to say thank you, uh, to have a caring word to your loved one or partner or family member, because you are gonna go out and then come across all different types of emotions. And as in life, you never wanna live with regrets. So please always take the time to make sure you leave your home on a, uh, on a good note. Everybody's proud of you. I wish you well in your endeavours, your future within the Queensland Police Service. Be united, believe in what you do, use enthusiasm, commitment, and you will get through this all together. Thank you very much. All the best with your careers. Uh, work hard. The people of Queensland, certainly you are Queensland's finest. When they go to bed at night, they need to know that the Queensland Police Service is out there protecting them and they can sleep soundly in their beds at night. It might seem a little thing, but at the end of the day, safety is one of the most important attributes to a community. And is an indicative when we see the recruits here today and we read in the induction um, catalogue that we have constables that now come from all different demographics of our community, and that is reflective of a modern police force. So we will continue to support you. Please enjoy every moment. Chew on it like a piece of cake and don't stop chewing because there's many careers, there's many adventures ahead of you. We're all proud of you and we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dempsey. The parade will now retire and reform. This movement involves the constables marching back in line, advancing and conducting a dressing in preparation to perform the closing segment of the ceremony. In the final manoeuvre of the ceremony, the parade will advance in review order. This movement involves the constables marching forward in line, concluding with a general salute. This is performed with no offensive spirit and has given us a mark of respect to the Minister for Police, Fire and Emergency Services, the Commissioner of Police and members of the senior leadership team. Inspector Darren Carnes will now resume command of the parade.
The parade commander will now call for the parade sergeant and hand over command. Ladies and gentlemen, the Banner Party, accompanied by the Queensland Police Pipes and Drums, will now march off parade to QPS 150. Will you please stand? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. The constable started as a recruit intake in February of 2014 and were trained in two individual groups. They will now form a united intake in preparation to serve the community of Queensland as newly sworn police officers. The parade sergeant will now call for a member of the graduating intake to assume command of the new constables. This final gesture recognises the individual who displayed leadership throughout the training program. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the new constables of the Queensland Police Service. Before the constables are dismissed, may I thank you once again for being here with us this morning. At the conclusion of the parade, please feel free to move onto the ground to congratulate the men and women who will now join their colleagues serving the people of Queensland. The parade host, Chief Superintendent Debbie Platts, would then like to invite you for light refreshments to be served in the Academy Dining Room. On behalf of the Commissioner and members of the Queensland Police Service, may I thank you for your attendance and wish you a safe journey home. Constable Steele will now lead the new members in thanking you in their own special way. He will then dismiss the parade.